Okay. Okay, that looks significantly better immediately. That was weird. Yeah. That was weird. Sorry about that. Okay. Nobody saw that anyway. Nobody knows what no. I'm talking about. The VOD people are like, what are they what are they doing? What are, what are they talking about? Yeah. Um, all right, let me get this in the background. And then uh well, the sub part about that is I can't hear it. It's unfortunate. unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then it should be this monitor. Ooh. Why did it go all why did it completely go black? Did you I see don't know. anything? No, I also see black. Oh, okay. This literally worked like a minute or two before. I literally have just been doing this to like take a peek at it. Huh. Maybe go maybe do windowed windowed preview and then we'll just go yeah. maximize it. Wait, hold on. Oh, that's his projector. It's doing. Yep, it was doing my camera. That's why. There you go. There we go. Cool. It's a little trippy. I can play from the second monitor if I wanted to. Can you though? I find I would find it difficult, but I mean, feel free. I can actually. It's it's a little strange. <laughs> this is, say this is the new video we should do. TW full screen hack. <laughs> Real. Real. I actually think I might time, do that. If you're having a hard time seeing or reading anything, here's what you can do. Get OBS. But loads it's of people, free. yeah, loads of people complain about not being able to play TW full screen. Like if you, as long as you have two monitors, like you say, OBS is free. Yeah, entirely. And I'm sure you could probably... I'm, I'm sure you could probably find a workaround even without OBS. Like some kind of... Oh, I'm sure there are other software that does. Software or something, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is, I mean, this would be easy. I sh maybe I, I, I might do that video. <laughs> I think it might do numbers. It actually might, yeah. If you titled it, like, How to Play TW in Full Screen or something like that, it would, yeah. Oh, I would go even more clickbait than that. I would be like, TW9 Full Screen Hack. Adam Ryland doesn't want you to know. <laughs> they don't want me to talk about this. But you can TW do. Remastered. I'll, like, I'll do some live footage of me putting it in my, my TV in my lounge. Full screen. <laughs> I can play TW anywhere I want. TW on the couch. Real. Real. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm playing uh, on my phone and it's just like being streamed on your phone. Oh shit, you could do that, bro. That's based. We've unlocked a new uh a new era. New tech. New tech yep. discovered. Um All right. Yeah, Monday Night Raw. Yeah. Oh, okay. TNA oh, hard yeah. justice. Hold on. Hold on, let's investigate. Looks like oh, a whole okay. bunch of, looks like a whole bunch of mid uh, something I discovered is it yeah. does indeed tell me for TNA that CM Punk is receiving a large push due to like. Let's go! Talent. However, <laughs> as I also discovered, large push does not mean they're going to book him. They're just. They're hey! He was on events. a pay per view last month, alright? He was. He lost in. He lost. A multi man fashion. Wait, but he, he was teaming with the new church. But on the show we just watched, he lo he was fighting the new church. I believe this is a triple threat tag. Oh. Also, is the Sandman the Sandman? Yes. He is. Cool. That's good to know. But yeah, receiving a huge push, or receiving a push due to high town level, excuse me. Ooh, uh, interesting. Yeah, um, interesting. Every, every single AI company has these, so like pushes rising talent, um, being gradually phased out. Oh. For some people, it'll say like being phased out due to age. I think, oh, Bubba's not on this roster. I definitely think Bubba has that note where the fuck he is. Um, the big a push to justify big contract. <laughs> Lamo. One of my one of my favorite ones. Receiving a big push. That was kind of cool. That seems pretty cool. All right, Monday Night Raw. Monday Night! I feel like this list is bigger than before. Nat Hart's in there now. I actually think it might be Paul London cracked in again. 
I feel like Paul was in there before, but maybe I'm wrong. Edge is back. Edge is back, I think. And then I definitely there's at least one person here who's jumped up. I don't know if Kennedy maybe jumped back up. I think he was always a star, though. Oh, I'm not sure, actually. Maybe it's Tori. No, Tori's always. I think she was over. always been. Yeah. Yeah, she's always been fucked over. Hello. Uh, she's always been fucked Excuse over. Excuse me. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Por qué? Oh, Renee's here. I thought Renee was always a star. No, he was well known for a little while there, for sure. Okay. Because this is exactly where he was before. Never mind. All right, you're probably right. Okay, we're 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 done. Right. We're done with this. No yeah, one gets the thing off ever. Oh, did you see that Jesse comment I linked you? I don't know if you commented on it. I did. Um, the team. I just bring it up because we're about to see the uh, the team bonding. <laughs> so yeah. that's uh, that's why it came to my mind. That's all. Yeah, there was another point in there that. Um, yeah, he explained TV. I didn't quite finish reading that part yet, but I will eventually. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I kind of saw that stuff as well, and I was like interested in it a little bit. <laughs> but I, yeah, I didn't exactly yeah. read it. I just read like the first thing. I was like, oh shit, okay. Um, because I, I remember right? saying in that video, like Jesse explained it yeah, to us, yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. and, he, and he has. So I will read that at some point. Uh, Goddamn attacker! I thought you'd know. Uh, I, I hold on. Like, Discord is currently behind a big wall. Oh, that's true. <laughs> you could alt have, but that's fine. Uh, I can get it. I think we're in El Paso, Texas. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Get the gang together. The gentleman! Holy shit, we have nothing! <laughs> Holy shit, this was really bad! Or is it. We only started no. with six. That's fair. We got 95. It takes 30 to run the show. Um, yeah. So, 95 is not bad, because I think. You know, I have to give credit where credit is due. It, I, you know, a game, this game has had some fucked up code over the years, and I'm shocked that it elegantly calculated half an hour worth of creative energy. Yeah, I noticed that too. I was like, oh, that's really cool, actually. Um, something worth noting, um, mm -hmm. in the, obviously it'll be a little bit more suited because it's uh, made for this game and stuff like that, but in Zen, um, save and stuff like that. I'm getting over 250 per meeting, which is like the limit you can get damn. for one meeting. So like, I I think our DB is just kind of bad, but also... Well, I think it's this, fine. This 20% like, yeah. penalty, I think, is going to come off. It's going to come off soon yes. the other month, and it should hopefully... Should hopefully just improve everything. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, well, it will. We'll, we'll get a 25% buff, or 20% buff. I don't think it'll be yeah. a buff. I think we just won't have these penalties. <sighs> Which translates to a 20% buff. If you take I off guess, a 20% yes. nerf, it becomes a 20% buff from where we are now. That's fair. Yep. All right. Well, also, I don't, I don't want to min-max this. You know, we've got our booking team. They have their strengths and weaknesses. This is, this is some fire. Yep. Shared love of classic 80s power ballads. Why do we name nice. the four students now, huh? Why are we calling them out? <laughs> These are the I think it's, people who still need work. I think it's when it gets to a small enough amount, it'll tell us who they are. I swear he's been doing four students this entire time, though. You might be right. I don't remember. Unless maybe it was five and, like, Lashley was the last guy or something like that. I could see that. <laughs> Oh, not much going on, apparently, in the locker room today. Team team bonding time? Sure. Team bonding. Nice. Nice. Things you love to see. Oh, I think that's probably why I thought it was something similar to the Inspire note initially, like or like the motivational speeches, because when you finish doing the team bonding thing, it says, like, inspirational speech success or something like that, but there's no cool thing oh. on it, so. Mm. 
Right. Are the women main eventing this show? Probably. I think so. Yes, probably. Yeah. yeah. Is it going to be an eye candy match? You will Probably. be uh, maybe thrilled. I don't know. You might be thrilled to know that uh, I watched um, I watched like an 86. I watched 1986 primetime wrestling from the day before Christmas. They okay. did a Christmas carol with Roddy Piper. Oh, my God. They took like, 50, like 10 <laughs> minutes out of their show to just run it. And Roddy Piper doesn't want to do the bit. Like, he's not doing his lines. He's just, like, yelling random shit, and the whole thing doesn't work. And then they end it, and, like, the main original ghost guy is just like, well, you really are a shit person, Roddy Piper. I really underestimated you. I guess that's it then. And he's just like, ha, ha, ha. Amazing. Yeah, I just... I don't even thing, know... I like, holy shit. I don't know why the three ghost thing came into my head. I don't know why I even pitched that. Because it was around Christmas. Yes. No, well, I, that's how I tried to justify it, but I don't know where oh, I got the idea oh, okay. from. <laughs> like, surely I'm ripping it off from somewhere, right? There's no way I just think up Randy Orton should be visited by three ghosts, unless I genuinely did just come up with that idea. So, because it's which... the idea that all these guys were going to come back from the yep. past. And... Yeah, because I remember, cause the, I, I remember having the idea and then... Realizing that three of them, that they we had three people that fit, but I think my, I don't know, I don't know where it came from. It wasn't that though. That's awesome. Um, okay, speaking of ghosts, we've so I don't really know how we're mechanically doing this, but I think Randy Orton and Edge should fight each other in an angle, and we one of them should be put through a table. I like it. Last week we did the count out, right? Yeah. Was that an intentional count out on Orton's part? Yep. Okay, I do like the idea that Edge is going to go after him and put him through the table as like some kind of message of like, you can't yep. run from me. I am everywhere. But I agree. I like that. But does Orton come out? To cut a promo to start the show? I think I think that was my idea, probably, yes. Okay, but it, that, so that was sort of my idea. My problem is, what is Orton going to say? <laughs> he won. The ghosts are all defeated. Actually, he okay. didn't win. He, on paper, he didn't even win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but actually, I think you've inspired him because his message to Dusty Rhodes was, I survived the other two ghosts. So he can come out and say he's now survived all of the ghosts. Fantastic. Yeah. And and then and then Edge will come out and kill him. Do we split this into two parts? We probably do. Okay. I This is 8 minutes. This first part okay. of him cutting the promo. And Edge would be a target, right? Yes, you're right. And then in this part, Orton would... Oh, actually, no, because the road agent notes are for the whole angle. Okay. Great. I should have done copy part. Hold on. There. Oh. Interesting. Uh, uh, fighting? Maybe attacker and victim? Yeah, that's Does that make sense? That is, yeah, that's yeah. the one. That's the one. And then edge regular storyline victory once you've booked it all in? How long is that second Six? part? Six? It's not an interview anymore. No, it never was. So I don't know what they're, I don't okay. know what they're smoking. Uh, do we want to name the part? 
I don't know if it actually matters, but... It, it, it kills him. I don't know. We should probably mention the table. Oh, Edge right. puts Orton through a table, yeah. Um, yeah, what were you what were you picturing this as? Because I definitely had... I had some fairly crazy shit in my head, I guess, now that I think about it, but... I, I'd like elaboration. We were going off the stage through a table with a spear. Holy... Uh... Yeah, yeah, no, sure, sure. I'm okay with that. We've reached that point of escalation. We've got we've got further to go, but but sure. Through a table. <laughs> Through a tunnel. <laughs> Through a tunnel. Um, crazy bump for these fuckers. Yeah, 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 yeah you're right. Oh, okay. that's reasonable. We're gonna gimmick it then. Okay, we're gimmicking it. That's probably fair. That's probably how they do it anyways. So. Yeah. Cool. Uh, we go to commercial, and I think we should have Edge a subjective video in a third angle here, where the comms are like, the fuck just happened? Love it. I guess rate the comms as segment hosts. Uh, and then we should wrestle. We've got Chris Masters versus Mark Henry. And I remember we had laid out this feud before, but I have forgotten exactly. Was it so Chris won via roll up first time, right? Yes. And was this going to be Mark? I remember you had an idea in mind that maybe it was Mark going to beat the shit out of Chris here. And then Chris had to like return stronger for the third yep. match. Yep. Yeah? Have you got you know you know what you're doing with this? I do, yes, actually. Okay, I do. cool. I just clicked in. Um All right. Let's not book this first because I think Miz and Chris should have a talk before that fair play, fair where play. Miz gives him his M. I will be the is for tonight. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Yeah, you have a big match. You can't be worrying about this Aster's stuff. I'll I'll be the is. Because he gave him his M jacket too, didn't he? So the, I think this has been a consistent plot point throughout the storyline that the Miz cares for Chris Masters and doesn't want him to feel like the third wheel of Eminem. I was going to say, like, um, all the Eminem boys care about each other. And then I thought about it and I'm like, I don't know if Johnny Nitro has feelings. <laughs> Johnny Nitro, I don't know if Johnny Nitro is a human. <laughs> um, okay. Jeff Hardy and Ted DiBiase Jr. Oh, Do they just? The shit too. Yeah. That is true. Keep 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 a ringer on that. Does just seeing what I did last week with it. Yep. Does do Jeff Hardy and Ted DiBiase just literally fight? Apparently we tonight. Did nothing. Oh, there we go. Haas only won because of rules. Awesome. That's yeah. That's easy. Do we? Yeah, do we just have Ted DiBiase and Jeff Hardy fight here? We could, yeah. Mm, but they've already had that one match in the tournament. I do weirdly have a Ted DiBiase promo. Okay, that might be interesting because I kind of want Jeff Hardy to confront Ted DiBiase. So I think maybe that promo will be useful. I see it as an interview, though, backstage. That work? Yeah, it works entirely. Okay. Entirely. In that case, here we should probably have Batista wrestling. He's still a face for now. I mean, what? Yep. What are you talking? What, what, what am I talking about? He's always a big face. We love Dave. We love Dave. Of course he's a face. Davari. I like it. Two minutes. He does all the Dave stuff. Spine buster, shaking the ropes, thumbs up, thumbs down, Batista bomb. And then one minute, Batista working the crowd as he celebrates.
The animal. Big win for Big Dave. Has been unleashed on Monday Night Raw. Yeah. Okay, let's do this Teddy Biasi promo then. All right, hell yeah. Um, Ted is no longer a, a man of two belts. I, I was looking for confirmation there, but no, I'm, I'm right. I just am right. You're right. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was like, Ted is, yeah. Um, so yeah, this is largely a promo about the United States Championship. Um, this title, uh, held by, uh, well, I'll run down the list really quick. Um, off the top of my head, uh, Harley Race, uh, Eddie Guerrero, Ric Flair, uh, Doug Basham, John Brad, John Lake, Cena, John Cena, um, Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar, Lex Luger, Sting, um, fucking, um, Arn Anderson, what Swinger Parisi? Swinger Parisi. What do all of these men have in common? <laughs> they were harder than hard. They were men. Mm -hmm. They were professional wrestlers. This title, for me, represents that I'm not just some rich boy here to, you know, throw his money around. I'm here to fight. I am a fighter. I'm a successful fighter. Look at my belt. This proves it. Um, but yeah, no, he, he's not just some not just some rich nepo baby kid. You know what I mean? He's a, he's a, he's a tough guy. He's a badass. He, he went into that tournament. He won the whole damn thing. He's tough as nails. Um, and it's just a real blessing that somebody like Jeff Hardy didn't get to ruin this belt with his with being all weird and shit. And Jeff Hardy will appear and say, Ted, you say you're hard as nails, you say you're a man, but the only reason why you're standing there as United States champion right now is because you cheated. You're no man, you're just a coward. And then Ted DiBiase could be like, hey, yeah, you're right, I did cheat to beat you, but I didn't need to. I beat you any day of the week. And Hardy could be like, fine, then fight me next week. And Ted's like, sure. And let's throw Cody and Matt on there as background players. Love it. Katie Lee. Um, Katie Lee. Is that four? Yeah, I think it could be six, actually. Sure. Not in the ring, though. Thank you. Yep. Do we give some successes here? I think maybe unreciprocated minor for Ted. Yep. And then minor for Jeff over Ted. Because that's, for, yeah, you probably got, got it, but Ted for cutting the promo and then the Jeff parts from when Jeff arrives. Yep. Cool. Uh, let's sell some tickets for the WrestleMania Revenge Tour. And then let's have some women's wrestling. Let's do Talia Madison and um, Serena Deeb taking on Katie Lee and Candice Michelle. Is somebody in this match recognizable or very warm? Excellent question. I can't sort by by uh, gender anymore. Maybe division? Oh, well done, honey. Well done. I would not... <laughs> I would not think of that meaning division should be fair. But, uh, warm. Very warm. Does that do it? Okay. That will do it, I All think. Right, we're good enough, then. Hell yeah. Cool. Uh, let's go four-minute eye candy. Yep. And have Katie Lee... Pin. Oh well, you won't. It, it won't. It won't work, dude. Do you remember why? Oh, Candice Michelle Candace refuses Michelle to do these matches. Refuses. 
just confirm that for me. Click the book so I can see it again, just in case it changes based on show. All right, very very well. Regular match. That oh, oh well, we could actually put in. Who is it? Um, it's Christy Hemi. Yeah, I was just trying to see if anybody else had the heat to make this work. Uh, oh, is Candice the very warm? She is. Oh, okay. Fair enough. She has bargaining power this in this it. position yep, then. This is it. Yeah, this is very it. well. Fair okay. Acceptable. <sighs> no, I, I respect it enough that I will continue to say Katie Lee will win this match. I think it would be problematic if we restricted her career opportunities based on this. Yeah, it would be it would be a little bit, I think. A little bit. Yeah. Do we pin Candace? Katie Lee pinning Candace? Yeah. I don't think the rules work like that. I don't think you're allowed to pin your tag team partner. Oh, you're right. Funny how, <laughs> funny how that works. <laughs> I was sitting there going, what the hell is Putty talking about? Obviously, we... Oh, oh shit. I love that. That's great. Uh, yeah, okay, I don't mind who, who of the other. I don't mind who of those two you you want to pin, um, or we can let the game say, decide. I'll to leave fine. it up to. I'll leave it up to the will of the universe. Whatever. Um, Chirp. Who is it? Whatever. Uh, yeah, whatever Lombardi thinks is best. <laughs> cool. Um, all right, a little filler angle here. Maybe graphic hyping up that our main event is for the women's championship. Yeah. Let's do our uh, Chris Masters Miz angle, where Miz tells him, you know, you've got a big match tonight. Uh, you can't be worrying about this Joey Mercury nonsense. So I'm going to be the is so that you can be Chris Masters again. Let's get uh, Johnny Nitro there. Also character development, I guess. And then have Mercury and Henry both off screen. Uh, four minutes on that. <laughs> However, the is. The is. <laughs> the is is kind of fire. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's the is. It's the is. <laughs> uh, maybe unreciprocated victory for Masters. I like it. And maybe minor victory for Mercury over Miz. Or should we say the is? The is. <laughs> Damn. Is it Damn, huh. this, Damn, this game hates me. Huh. Interesting. Very well. I guess we take that note off. I mean, I, yeah, I don't know if I agree with that, but uh, I'll accept it. It's John Cena! Do, 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 do. He won. He's he did. He's gonna come out and he's gonna say, you know, it's been a tough month for me, but I am happy to stand out here and finally be able to say that last Saturday night I did in fact win. Uh, and then almost before John Cena could say anything else, Mr. Kennedy's music yeah, is gonna yeah, hit. Man, we're not done with this. Let's go. <laughs> he's gonna come down. He's gonna stand on the on the stage. He's gonna let the microphone descend from the heavens, and he's gonna say, "John, I hope everybody watched Saturday night in Austin when you won that match because first and foremost, I took you all the way." I made I made it very very difficult for you, and you had to give everything you had to beat me. And second thing, you celebrated that win like you had just won the world championship at WrestleMania. You celebrated that victory like you had given it all you had. You celebrated that win over little old Mr. Kennedy like it was the greatest win of your career. And John, perhaps it will be the last win of your career because I've, I've, I've fought you twice now. And I can see what nobody else can. And that is that your best days, John, are behind you. So I tell you what, I've won one. You've won one. That, I think, makes us even. 
But on May 31st at Madison Square Garden, Saturday night's main event, that's a stage for a tiebreaker. John Cena, Mr. Kennedy, March th- uh, May 31st at Madison Square Garden. What do you say, John? Do you want to prove to the world that what happened in Austin wasn't a fluke? You want to prove to the world that you aren't past it? You want to prove to the world that you really are back? Or do you want to show them what I know? And that is that your best days are behind you, your shoulders not really healed, and your spirit never will be. She just, she just like, take it aback a little. <laughs> She's Damn. Sure you... <laughs> Damn. Ken, you're a hell of an athlete. You're a better talker. And sometimes your mouth writes checks that your body can't cash. May 31st, Madison Square Garden. You want some? Come get some. You're on. Eight? Yep. You want to add anything to that? Because I know you had some good material for Kennedy at times in this uh, feud. Which I stole in that promo. No, no, no. <laughs> but you that's, that. um, yeah. that's not stealing. That's uh, no. We are, in fact, on the same team. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, it's, it's the angle, um, no, I think I think that's pretty much good for everything. I can't think of anything else Kennedy would say. He lost, but like, whatever. John lost how many fucking times the past month? <laughs> yep. what, the, what does one loss mean? What does one win mean? <laughs> Are you saying wins and losses don't matter? <laughs> oh my god. Where's Jeff Hardy? Okay. Uh, that, I think we could maybe just do Masters Henry here. Yep, I'm game. Cool. How long do I need to go on this to tell this convincingly? I feel like eight, maybe, might be the time on this. Okay. Yep. Um... So Chris Masters has come into this with a game plan. Mark Henry, uh, they're, they're both very powerful men, but Mark Henry is the more powerful. He's the strongest man in the world. Um, yep. So Chris Masters, this entire match, he's going to try to uh, work on Henry's uh, kind of back, back of the neck type area, soft him up for that master lock, right? He's, he's got a plan for this. He, he's, he's got a strategy. He's going to get it done. Um... He, he's worked the whole match for this. He gets it in. He, he pulls those arms back or whatever. He's about to lock the lock the hands behind the head, and Henry just powers out. And Chris Bash is like, uh... Oh. Sh- sh- shit. Uh, hmm. Um, Henry takes control from there. Uh, I might give Masters one more shot where he gets a... Uh, like a brief opening, and he goes to lock in the master lock again, and he gets it in fully, and then Mark Henry breaks it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh, shit. And, and then, yeah, Mark Henry puts him in the dirt. Goddamn. World's strongest slam. That's a storytelling match if I've ever heard one. All right. I think. I'd maybe specify pinfall so we don't get the bear hug. Mm, good call be kind of based though <laughs> yeah i like the world's strongest slam for this yeah, one though yeah okay uh what tommy dreamer and charlie haas okay this is a charlie haas uh interview probably yeah where he's like yeah i won because of rules that's the you know we're doing a sport <laughs> i love it i love it uh, where's, uh, but but you tell you what I you know I, I I am a student of the game Tommy and I can adapt to a number of different situations so you name the match you name the stipulation I'll go. be there and I will beat you exactly what I was thinking name the time cool. name the place and we're gonna name that time and place next week and then we'll uh, we'll do it on a on a TV here so I think it'll be okay I think we, it'll be fun. we could. There's space at MSG, maybe. There probably if, is. I, I just don't know. I don't sure, know whatever you want to do. Better is that? Like, I'll I'll tell you what it is off screen because I think it's I think sure. it's really fun. And we haven't done one. We have never done one in four years. That's big. This, five years of doing this almost. There are very few steps we haven't. There are very flirted few steps. with. 
there are very few. We've stages. we've done we've done like ambulance matches. We've done stretcher matches. We've done three stages of hell. We've done a Shark Tank match. <laughs> there's been a lot of matches on this on this series. <laughs> This doesn't have a storyline. That's okay. Uh, are you sure? Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's none of these. It's all good. Uh, we maybe should make one. Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, a Bell Called America is definitely has Jeff and Ted in it, right? I believe so. Cool. Yes. And Paul Lund. Cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I, I for, almost forgot about those boys as well. I remembered them earlier in the show, and then they slipped my mind. I need to remember though, they exist, and are the new tag team champions. Let's go with rules and regulations. I like it. <laughs> rules and recreation. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. I mean, let's. Let's hear from the new tag team champions. Let's have the an, an in-ring interview with Steve Austin. I love it. Where he... Um... Oh shit, I think this was a... I, I'm getting a memory, but I can't remember where this is from. I think this is a UFC promo. I think Steve's going to ask, you know, hey, you've only been here on Raw a couple weeks and you've already ascended to the top of the tag team ranks. How have you found the Raw tag team division? And then Paul, Paul London's just going to go, easier. That is, the, <laughs> that is the Ken Shamrock UFC 1 promo. Oh, yeah. Ken Shamrock. I remember, yeah, you've I remember. Been, and the reason why I know about it is because you put it over when you found it. You've been, uh, you've been, here, you've been in like the UFC for, you know, all one night or whatever. How, how does this compare to your um, like shoot fighting or whatever? Easier. <laughs> Are you going to be uh, planning? Are you two planning to defend these titles against all comers? Brian says yes. <laughs> all right, thanks, boys. Congrats on the win. <laughs> Hell yeah. Celebrate with the people. We can go six on this because they can have a long entrance and then they can continue to celebrate after the interview. Yeah, go out into the crowd and stuff like that. Whatever they yep. want to do. Whatever these guys want to do. Cool. Uh, let's get a some sort of victory. Maybe both may, normal, unreciprocated on the Cena Henry, uh, Cena Kennedy. I don't think these guys have a storyline. Otherwise, I would definitely agree with you on that. Um, on the oh, okay. on Cena, Cena Kennedy. I think we didn't put any. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I think right. both just unreciprocated regular because I think they both get their shots in here. I like it. John Bradshaw Layfield. That is the one I'm looking for, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. It's a good show. I like this. Um, Shelton Benjamin hasn't appeared on it yet. Yeah, Shelton hasn't had much to do for a second, honestly. You're right. I don't know how... Ooh, he... Mm. I don't think we've ever had Shelton fight Umaga. That was also who I saw. I wondered if... Sorry, we... you cut, uh, you cut said... out a little bit. Did you say also who you saw? Yeah, that's also who I saw. Yeah. Um, I wondered about... I wonder if Shelton could cut... I don't know. I feel like... Uh, well, I guess we really haven't done this with Shelton. Um, oh, but it feels weird to do another fucking interview. So many interviews. Um, okay, well, what if we just showed a Shelton Benjamin highlights package, and then whatever you had in mind, we could do next week? Yeah, my, my idea being is that um, Shelton Benjamin's going to talk about um, the, the DMLS thing, what that meant for him, or what he was trying, what he was, what were you trying to do with the whole DMLS thing? Um, and Shelton's answer essentially is going to be uh, to, to build something that last you know what i mean like dmls mm. was supposed to keep going <laughs> like it was my legacy exactly that uh, to yeah. not exactly say that and then i don't know two guys with very strong legacies in wrestling may be like haha or they probably don't say that Armando probably does <laughs> <laughs> oh okay yeah all right you i'm are, down you are nobody you have 
no claim to this business. These two men, they are bred pro wrestlers. Mm. They eat, sleep, and they breathe pro wrestling. You cut them open and they bleed pro wrestling. And, Trust me, I've done it. And motor oil, for they are a wrecking machine. <laughs> <laughs> they destroy everything in their path. And now you're in their path. Exactly. Cool. All right. Maybe this week, then, instead of the Shelton thing, Shelton just sits this one out, and we do a scary look at these two big Samoans and how much destruction they've reigned. Yep, I love it. Cool. Can I do... Armando segment host, maybe? I guess that is subject to video. Which is intimidation. They, we, we could... Yeah, sure. Okay. Or isn't Bodyguard a thing, too? Yes. And then Armando is segment host, maybe? Da Samoan Wrecking Crew. I don't know why he became Jamaican there for a sec. <laughs> he stole Kofi's accent. For real. <laughs> okay. I guess, uh... Hmm. I'm realizing this music mix that I pulled up. Yeah. It's like, um, there's a YouTuber that I watch who uses these songs, like, very specifically. Like, well, shit. And they're not like, these aren't like, uh, you know, like your normal YouTube royalty free music. That's very funny. I, let's, uh, get Teddy Long, uh, lecturing. <laughs> not, not wrestling. Sure. <laughs> let's not get Teddy. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. Damn, okay. <laughs> Edge is receiving treatment. He's in the hallway outside the medical clinic, that famed and fated place yes. where many people have had conversations with Teddy Long. <laughs> yeah, and Teddy Long's going to go, Edge, listen, listen, player, I got to respect what you're doing and the way you're going about it, but uh, you, you're, making my, you're making my show a little chaotic here, player. So I'm not going to keep doing this for you, but I understand that what happened last week it's not the way I want a champion to behave on my brand. And so I'm not going to let him get away with it. But I want you to know that if you keep going about things this way, it's not always going to end well for you, player. But just this last time, I'm going to give you a match. Next week on Monday Night Raw, Edge versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship in a tables match. You better get this shit out of your system, player. Uh, six, yeah. I don't think so. Maybe a minor edge victory, but I, I, I don't know. I was thinking. Sure, sure. Do you remember they were old in the old one of it wasn't 2020, but it was older than that. There were angles that specifically were like a pre booking is intended to be made from this angle. <laughs> I don't remember that, no. Really? Okay, so I don't know if it was 2016 or 2013, but there was a little toggle box that was like pre-booking angle or something. And if you tried to leave that angle without making a pre-booking, it'll just give you a little warning to be like, hey, you set this up as a pre-booking angle. Do you, would, you, would you like to pre-book? And you could say no, but it was just, you know, it had a little reminder built That's into neat. it. That's kind of neat. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Um, oh, it was called would lead to match or can lead to match. I think that was the, the little toggle box. Um, all right. Oh, I don't remember that at all. Uh, no. Main event, I think. How attractive are these women? Oh, oh, hold on. You fell down the well, which means they can probably <gasps> hear that you've fallen down the well. Oh, shit. This is rare well content. Well content. This is what I hear sometimes, folks. I don't know what does this. If you have any idea what might do this to me, let me know. It should be fixed. Say something. Hello. 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 Am I in a well? Yep. It's fixed. Cool. Uh, how attractive are these women? <laughs> is what I said while I was in the well. <laughs> Maybe I should have stayed in the well. <laughs> uh, 77. And uh, how attractive are these women? <laughs> Yells a man down the well. Uh, 82. <laughs> Maybe this is not an I like they, they, that's fit, reasonable, but I think maybe they will do better just wrestling. I think so yeah, I actually think yeah. So. Uh, how long should this be? 
My in there's a number that immediately came to my mind, and it was the number eleven. I had nine. Okay, if we combine those together, we create a tragedy. We do. We do. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, well, I remember eleven nine was a fine day. <laughs> <laughs> not in not in our dating system. Oh no. <laughs> um I don't like 10. You just you just refuse 10. I don't like 10. Uh, it's not it's not calling to me. I don't really like him either. <laughs> bit of a bit of a jobber. <laughs> Are we talking about Ty Dillinger here? Uh, both him and there was an AEW wrestler for a while called Ted. They were they were all jobbers, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. The distinction isn't important. I'm happy to give you nine if if that if that if you think that's better than eleven. Do I think it's better than eleven? I think they're probably both yeah. the same for me, so I would go eleven. Shit. If you're down. I would prefer eleven if okay. you know. Yeah. If you, if you're completely ambivalent. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with it. All right. Uh, Beth Phoenix is going to win. And yeah, open clean. Mm, that, that could be raw? I think so. Just checking here. I mean, everybody who's off is pretty much off. Guy, the new breed guys, I wouldn't mind being on, but that's sort of like the the tag division is now super competitive. So I feel like they can't be on every show. And it's and it's hard to pitch these content for content angles as well. I feel like. What do you mean? I, I just mean like it, it feels weird, at least to me, for them to just like talk for a bit. About sure. Like, yeah. 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 Whatever. Yeah. I agree. I want them doing something relevant. I think that's fine. I think we could have squeezed another match into the show, but I don't feel the need to at this point. Yeah, no, I think we're good. Yeah. Cool. Let's run it. Let's do it. Raw intro. Oh, does the main event have a storyline? It should. It, or is is the new, can we just check the? I think Clash of the Titans maybe is Victoria and Beth. Yep. Cool. It's cold, but. We could maybe generate a storyline idea for it. There was a way to do that, right? We were told that. Yes. Creative. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, booking team. There we go. Cool. Let's do it. Let's. Let, it could use. I think it's worth doing. Nice. OK. We take women seriously. Sometimes. <laughs> Send it. Okay. And then have it advance on the Beth Phoenix video angle. Yep. It hasn't tripped me out this whole time, but I just caught like my mouse moving on the other screen or the corner of my eye. And I was just like, hmm. Holy. Yeah, I was like, that's weird. Our only angle idea right now is the Idle Stevens one, right? Yes. Which Kay. expires Good. after this week, so we should probably use it. Yep. What the fuck just happened? Why is Edge here? <laughs> He's been back for a while, Jim. Oh, damn. <laughs> nice. Big Dave. What? Big Dave. He pins him to the spot. Okay, he does use the Batista bomb in this match, <laughs> though. <laughs> Yeah! In a very good one minute angle, we saw Batista. Working the crowd. <laughs> right on. Yep. That's next week. Is it for the belt? Because it wasn't explicit in the angle, but it could just be for the belt. I'll leave that up to you. Oh, yeah, I think it should. I, I'm down for it to be for the belt. Sure. Although we already have a title match next week. Oh, yeah, we do. Non -title Take the belt off of it. Yeah. Yeah. If Jeff wins, he can get a title shot. Exactly. We call that an eliminator, baby. Ooh. 
It's actually just it's actually just one of the worst fucking ideas ever, but whatever. <coughs> Would you like to expand? Uh, AEW does that regularly, where they'll do a non-title match, and if it, but it's specifically it's called an eliminator match, where if the guy who's not the champion yep. wins, he'll get a title shot. And I'm like, that's just how it works, though. You don't have to like yep. call it anything special. You just it's just a match, and if he beats him, well, he probably gets a title shot. Yeah. Well, that's the, it's the probably part that changes. Like they're explicitly saying, "Here's your opportunity, kid." Yeah, you just got to beat this guy twice in a row. Yeah, yeah. There is some fun there, I won't lie. They just don't do it fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Not, I know not, what you mean. It's not very often that the challenger wins the Eliminator match. Well, of course, because then... I mean, while there is... There are different ways to play it, but the champion should win those most of the time because that's why they're the champion. Right, yeah, yeah. No, I, I fully yeah. agree. It just, like... It's so weird. It's like, why not just do an impromptu title match then? Your booking is already Because like the result anyways. is the same. Well, because they want to keep title matches special. They want to make it feel like you really need to earn them. I could see that, but also that's, again, just not how the company works. They just okay. like, make up Fair enough. Stuff, give it to people. Anyways, yeah. 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 Um, come to the revenge tour. Women wrestling. Acceptable. Crowd heat at the end, unclear. Unclear, wow. I thought that said spinning back fist. I was like, that's based as fuck. And he just walks up and rocks her. Is that the, is that the show, show 10 or something like that? That's the back fist? No idea. Okay. We're nice. still unclear. Unclear, man. Nobody knows what the fuck the crowd's thinking. <laughs> We're we're very confused. In the back. Like, are they? Do they like it? Do they? Uh, I can't tell. Send seat out there. Send seat out there. If we still don't know. Uh, oh no! Uh, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Don, can you give me some kind of opinion on any of this, please? I, I, I booked the show for you. What, what's going on? Well, so we're please, in Texas. Tell me how they <laughs> These Texas, these Texas shows are often like they're they're just sitting on their hats. Dog, what is happening? What, <laughs> what are we doing here? But, hey, but based. Based indeed. I think we're just gonna remain unclear for the rest yeah, of the show. Nobody seems to fucking know what's going on out there. Yep. Yeah. Book All right, we can book this in. Yep. I fucking love that, dude. It just went unclear, and we never got a read on the crowd again. We were just like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they want, man. It's Texas, boss. I don't know what to tell I'm you. I'm going to say late, like, 2010s, that's, like, Vince every single show. I, I, I can't tell. <laughs> do they hate it, or do they... I, I can't tell. I don't care. Send out Roman yeah. Reigns. Send him anyway. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Uh, make that for the belt. Perfect. Nice. It fucking banged, man. Uh, and we don't really know how anybody. If it wasn't for anything. the, hey, it had good heat, yeah. <laughs> so we'll take it. Yeah. Okay. Acceptable. Take it. The Spaniards will probably be annoyed, but fuck them. Yeah, they can lose TV. I don't care. <laughs> that's that's like. Them. Carlos Colon looks very happy in that picture. He does. That young man. <laughs> uh -huh. Um, that is Royal Rumble 1990, either two or three. Um, Carlos Colon is like over 40 at the time, and he just makes oh. like one off appearance in the Rumble. And Gorilla Monsoon is like, This youngster, up and comer, let's see what he's got. <laughs> and he's like, He looks like visibly like a over 40 year old man. Um, yo, who's this guy? We should think about getting him. We could also not, because he's working for Fox Wrestling. Yo. Yo. Uh, what is this? Oh, who's that? I don't know who that is. I don't know either, but she's going to FCW. Uh, no, nah, just, just, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. Yeah? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Cool. Um, oh, dick to go. And Loki. I yeah, I often I often get food from that place. Ah, love it. <laughs> All right, let's move ourselves over to Thursday. 
and also to Col Colorado Springs. Mm. Mm. Big show. No, although we should look into acquiring him soon. We should, we should bring Paul back. Probably. It's almost time for my pitch. Excellent. Yep. God, it's not Jimmy Rave, and I like, I literally had like some visceral reaction of like, ah! And I was like, oh shit, it's okay. Um, Poor ROH, man. I got fucked in this universe. Sorry, just, just taking an eye at this. Who's that? Who is that? Um, what's his circle? 71 to an 81? Fuck. Muscle Can we talk about Ariel 47, by the way? Where's that? For the greatest flyer in the history of the business. Holy shit, dog. Holy shit. <laughs> Eve Torres. Whoa! Ripped Eve Torres, dude! Uh, sex appeal up to 94 from 87. Star quality. Really? Where's Star quality? Up to 70 from 60. Getting seven sex appeal points for going from muscular to ripped? I don't know about that. She shredded, dude. What can I say? I don't think I don't think your average person finds that conventionally attractive. I I was gonna say I would agree, and I was like, I shouldn't say that so confidently, because um, it makes it sound like <laughs> I agree, but I, I don't I don't agree. Uh, I don't necessarily agree either. I just, I, I, I get, I feel like I, I'm a man of the people. And so I understand, you know, the common man. <laughs> mm, I see. Yeah. You're, you're in touch with the masses, are you? I am, yeah. The whole thing is unclear to me. <laughs> That's fair. That is I fair. Can't read on it. What do you think about Chino Martinez? I think he's good. Any ideas for Marcus Corvon or the new breed? Nothing explicit other than we like them and they will continue to be pushed. Real. Uh, all right, we got uh, we got our number our rivals going there. Um, okay, yeah, that's wrestling that they did, I guess. Three Life Crew, Kurt Angle, and Sanjay Dutt. Of course, and there's why, our death. Why is head. Why is Nikki Bella having an argument? Also, holy main event. See that? Oh, the predator had an enormous bust up. Nikki, I would not fuck with the man who's like, <laughs> how, how big is Turkai again? Um, Turkai is six seven three twenty. Yeah, I wouldn't fuck with him. To be honest, he's a teddy. He's a teddy bear, really. He has no discernible personality. Fuck. He has a negative. He does speak fluent. <laughs> he does speak fluent Japanese. He, wait, wait, get Terke to move. He's still in Japan. Oh, is he? Oh. <laughs> I, I only just caught that at the end there. And they just, they do it so Great. Easily. Of course. I mean, you're working for us. Now, the funny thing is you could probably go ask Hiroshi Tanahashi to do it. <laughs> he <laughs> might, like, he yeah, probably I, would. Yeah. <laughs> God, that's a very high quality picture for this young man. I know, I know. I think this guy could go, could do something. Maybe. I think I'm probably going to be a bigger fan of him than you. I, I know you are. That's why I, <laughs> when I saw him on the list, I was like, oh, excellent. I can get, uh, I can get Axel, buddy. Excellent. <laughs> it's going to be like Axel Swinger guys. all over again. <laughs> no, except for I, I get Joe Hennig a little bit. Cool, cool. Like, I, I, and it'll I, end up being like Chris Masters, where I want to push him for years and years and years, and never, I cannot, never be asked. And then eventually <laughs> something happens, and something you're like, "Let's like, push Chris Masters." <laughs> you were in Colorado Springs. Yeah. I don't know where Colorado is. Midwest. Uh, no. No. It's south. Um, Southeast, southwest. Sorry, maybe. No, I checked that already. It's like it's like the middle. It's Mid the south. Middle. Yes. Yeah. Right at the top of the mid south. Then I'm guessing. The 
boys. I think we can leave this for tonight. I think I agree. We're gonna start to need we're gonna need to start generating creative ideas for wrestlers at some point. Holy shit, she she's improved her. She's She's expanded yeah. the group, yeah. Expanded, that's what I was looking for. Improved is probably the wrong word. Oh, thanks, Justin. Oh. He bonding over here? Uh, no, I am in the mood for a rib. On Michelle McCool. <laughs> <laughs> probably going to attempt something terrible, but... <laughs> Look, I'm going to leave that up to the audience's imagination. <laughs> yeah, risky works for me. Let's do it. Everyone the loves it. Room. <laughs> cool is upset with your attempt to do. It's a boy! <laughs> <laughs> I was going with something much worse, to be fair. Yeah, I'm sure you were. <laughs> You're not fucking leaving. Um... <laughs> What fucking pregnancy? Um, <laughs> yikes! <yeah. laughs> fucking yikes! Fucking yikes indeed. Uh, it's not. Uh, who? Uh, it's Java. Champ? It's Java. <laughs> That's not a good sign. <laughs> I couldn't remember the state of the belt after the fuckery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. It's Java. Okay. What do we got pre-booked for this show? It's like the tag title match. Is that it? Yep. Cool. I feel like Chavo Guerrero should just like have a party here, right? Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. Like with some balloons and stuff. Yep. None of you believed in me. None of you believed that I could. Uh, Kevin Nash. I don't want to be there. I think he's he's gonna do other stuff tonight. <laughs> None of you believed in me. None of you thought I could beat The Undertaker. Well, I proved you all wrong. Fuck you all. Yep, based. Yep. Now we're going to enjoy my party. Eight? I was like, I was thinking, I was like, bring up the mariachi band. <laughs> <laughs> sure, fuck it. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> Any wins or anything like that here? Or? I, I guess unreciprocated major for Chavo makes sense, I guess. Yep, I love it. Sure. Sure. Shoot on him. Literally. Uh, let's do some tag team wrestling. Let's show the folks some of the great tag teams that are not currently competing for the belt. So, Deuce and Domino versus Jesse and Festus. Just wholesome fun. Never before. Never before in, in this game. Never again. True. You're right. Good <laughs> uh, five minutes. Yeah, I like that. All right, you seem pained, but okay. I was stretching. <laughs> I yeah, was I'm stretching. <laughs> uh, I think Deuce and Domino beat Jesse here. Yep. I think the uh, the Jesse and Festus pushes over. I don't know if Jesse and Festus, by the way, have ever lost a match. That's base. <laughs> I kind of feel like they they haven't. They may not have. You, you might be right. All right, let's get. Uh, hmm. I kind of want like Taz style interviews with the competitors in tonight's main event, but Taz isn't here. Replacement Taz is Ric Flair. Oh, okay. No, okay. I don't know if Rick's here. I think we might have sent Rick away. Oh, you think you're right? No, no, I see him. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah, he is here. Lingering. Fine, we can use Rick if he's here. He's already done the harm. Real. Is that with the um it's with the tag boys, right? With yeah, both the tag boys. I I actually need to AFK for a little bit, like five minutes. Are you okay to like book a little bit of the show? Yeah, I think so. 
All good. right, cool, bro. I'll be back soon. Sorry. No, you're good. Um, I don't know if this will go four or six. I'm gonna put it in at four for now. We know it's boosted later. Um, yeah. Um, miracle on taunt on the main. Um, that is backstage. Uh, pre-taped. Probably another angle here. What's Bobby Lashley up to? Okay, yeah, Lashley's just been winning. Him and, him and Burke are kind of... linked to me right now. At least in my head. Just because they're both... They're like, um... Like the top babyface get and the top heel get. Um, not thinking of DX, I guess, obviously. Because DX is both the top babyface and top heel get. Um, <clears throat> Kofi Kingston's debuting this week. That's awesome. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Something, something for Idol later on. I'll do, I'll do one of my, I'll do my last shark thing here. Um, I did, why am I a fish out of water? Like, why is the ocean so salty? What's a shark doing flying? And then, um... Yeah, so he was he was out of the he was out of the water. Oh right, yeah, I know what last one I wanted to do. Uh, he was on a plane, so uh, shark went to a volcano. Um, yeah, to to look at it basically, <laughs> to look at it and contemplate what he's doing with his life. Um, we'll, we'll see how much time we'll give to that in the long run. Um. Why is a shark at a volcano? And then, and then I've got the I've got the wrap around for that. He's coming he's coming back to the show next week. Um Probably one more angle than wrestling, I'd imagine. Oh, man, I can take I can tease Alan Jones coming back. Well Putty's not here, but you know. Um, I could. Oh, that'd be so good. Ah, uh, no, it's fine. Okay, so last week, Stairway to Heaven, Dragon Nakamura Psychosis, Ray Psychosis. Where were we going with that? Come on, brain, think. I mean, I, I know where I was going generally. Psychosis got angrier. Um, that's probably like a Ray in ring promo at some point talking about how if Psychosis is so mad, why doesn't he come do something about it or something? They could they could brawl for a minute. Um Cruiserweight brawl stuff. Um <laughs> DX stuff, Bobby Lashley, Roddy. I will book in. I'm gonna book in the other interview there while I can. Because I know I can do that. Um who's the other one? Tyson Kid. Again, I'll set that to this and we'll switch it if. That'll be way later. I do like that there, going to the shark pre-tape. Actually, maybe we could do something in the ring. But he's got stuff for Nash. Idol Stevens, no Naga. Baker, Doug. Doug and Lashley feels really good. I like that. I'll probably pitch that when Putty gets back. 
even just as like a short little TV thing here for Lashley to do something. Elijah Burke, Evan Bourne. I don't I don't know if Triple H and McIntyre are done with each other. Um, I mean, because, like, there's there's probably an excellent case that it is done. Um, mostly because we maybe don't want McIntyre beating Triple H twice. But again, that's the type of thing that I think I have to bounce off Putty and stuff like that. Um, so this is, this is still Roddy. Yeah, he's, he's fighting Greg Helms. I wonder, I wonder if we could do, I wonder if we could do Greg Helms talking. Because that's not this week, it's next week. Feels like a sit down as well, which annoys the hell out of me. So it's probably in the ring. Oh, we could do. We could wrestle. Then Greg cuts the promo at. Oh, no, because he can't do the other I'm ones. Back. Hello. Hello. Um. So yeah, I was gonna pitch Idle Lashley, but actually, Doug Lashley. Now that you've said it is on my mind and I think that might be better. Yeah, man. Um, also, you mentioned a lot of guys who are just floating around now and I think that we have a lot of interesting guys we can just pair, but we just need to pick the right pairings for yeah. now. Yeah, no, I hear you. Um, in terms of whether Lashley, Triple H is die, I still think that's a choice yeah, we can, not Lashley, yeah. McIntyre. I think that's a choice we have to make. But I think I'm actually leaning towards doing a rematch in MSG. Okay. But it's totally up to you because it is going to be like a Hunter, here's some money angle. Oh, yeah. Like, I ultimately, that's fine. You're right. Um, I forget we can just solve all of our personal problems by paying people. Yeah, definitely. Wait a damn second. Wait a damn <laughs> second. Hold on. Okay, so what have you, you've done the shark promo. Yeah, I done the shark thing, and I booked in the other um, interview there. I don't know if you want okay. me to those to go six or four. I put them in as four. I think four is fine. All right. Um, this shark thing could Let's go four if we wanted it to. But him at the volcano? Sure. I mean, whatever, whatever you want. He's, he's at the volcano, contemplating his life choices, but. Well, so if you see messages from me later, I sent them while I was AFK because I could still hear you. Um, but yeah, oh, I guess you, okay. you, you you weren't looking, which is oh, fair. Oh, yeah, I do see uh, four down there. I noticed that. Oh, only two of them are me. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. One of them was I was going to pitch Idol Lashley, and then the other one was when you were talking about Jones. I was like, you fucking dare. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll just put the uh, angle in there and then run the show and be like, whoa, he's coming back next week. The machine. Um, God, I watched those Triple H Million Dollar Man promos again recently, and God damn, are they based as fuck. They're so good. You mean the we um, can rebuild him ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where you... I don't know what your brain did there. Wait, what? were they called? Were they? What is what is Million Dollar Man promos? Isn't that the name of the movie they ripped that off of? Oh, is that what it is? I swear, it's, isn't it? Oh, what what is it called? Uh, uh, no, the six the six Million Dollar Man. Oh, yeah. I think I'm right. Low key, I always thought yes. it was like a RoboCop thing. I might be wrong, but I think it's the I think the six million dollar man literally did that whole sequence of re, we can rebuild him. I see. 
Someone can correct me. Someone better at pop culture than I. Um, right, need to get back on the show. Well, if we're not doing Idol Ashley, which is fine, we do. I do want a feud for Idol. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. I, yeah, and I, I'm kind of drawing a blank. Evan Bourne. Uh, I just so. I think Evan Bourne's character isn't interesting enough for that feud. Do you understand what I mean? I do. I do. I think Evan Bourne, Elijah Burke is a more exciting pairing. Yeah, I, I dig that. I dig that a lot. Just looking down here in the weeds. Um, no. It's Alan Jones. Um, <laughs> I mean, actually, Idol versus Sean is maybe that is so is the angle. Yeah, Sean doesn't know which one is him. Oh shit! He's standing in the ring. And he's like, "Is that me or am I me? <laughs> Who's Sean Michaels? <laughs> Wait a second. I love it. Do we, is it just Idol comes out as Shawn Michaels and cuts a promo? I love it, yeah. And Shawn Michaels is like, what the fuck, man? I don't remember doing that. <laughs> okay, cool. I think we send that now. Okay, yeah. Uh, so is that Idol coming to the ring and cutting a promo and then Shawn coming out and being like, what the, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I think dramatic acting for Idol or comic relief, I believe, might even be a... Yeah, mm, it is. Yeah, yeah. And then Shawn Michaels, dr <laughs> maybe dramatic acting. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I wonder, are either of those active enough for us to go six on this? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's do six then. Which Shawn Michaels am I? And I think we start a new storyline for this. I think we do. I think you need to take, yeah, a little cold. Uh, let's call this uh... the reflection, uh, man in the mirror. Self-reflection. I like it. Um. Yeah, and then give, um, I guess, Idol a minor storyline victory in that angle. Hell yeah. And deploy the the angle idea. Yes. I think we could have used this next week. There's exactly seven days left on this angle. Um, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It, we're using idle. There's no point in not using it. Uh, it's time for a match. Uh, but before we book it in, I need to you to acquire a man. Am I right in saying that we have now acquired a ginger man who we sells? A man named Heath Miller. I. What is his selling in game? Ninety one. All right. Yep. Yeah, I am suggesting that this man is just now the jobber. The jobber. The one. Yep. If he doesn't have some kind of, like, go to jobber note, he's muscular, by the way, the god Heath Miller. Um, yeah, if he isn't if oh, he yeah. doesn't have some kind of, like, legendary job man note, if that exists, I'll put that in. Um, yeah, I'll, we I'll should also have, have a look at that. Heights and weights on everybody here. Don't worry, I'm aware. Yeah. I'll get to it. My bad. Um, I should have done it before they came in. But Heath Miller is going to be taking on Kofi Kingston. Massive. He's here. Uh, three minutes. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, no. Mr. Boom, boom. So yeah, Kofi Kingston's gonna come out like a house on fire. Just a very exciting, energetic wrestler with innovative, for 2008, offense. And then he's gonna like kick WWE. people in the head. 2008 WWE. He's just gonna kick people in the head. That's based. Yeah, <laughs> while flying all over the place. 
uh, and looking like a star. What am I? Oh. Uh, yeah, like yeah, he's Kofi Kingston. Yeah. What, what else is there to say? He's fantastic. Sure. Um, one of my favorite. Um, I, I don't even know what the hell. I'm, uh, thought processes, I guess, that has ever gone on in my brain recently was with Kofi Kingston. What I initially pitched, I was like, let's have him do another guy. Uh, you may not remember this, that's okay. Because I was just like, let's have Kofi Kingston just be like a different guy in my head. Like, have him work like a different guy. And then I was like, mm. that's actually probably dumb, because Kofi already wrestles like nobody else. So... Mm -hmm. Why why do that? Why not give that to somebody who sucks eventually? Yeah, I like that. Wait, no, sorry, that was not appropriate response. <laughs> I remember that pitch. <laughs> I do remember that pitch. Yeah, no, I just um, I, I just liked that I I was proud of myself that I talked myself through it and decided no, exercise restraint. Let's do your thing. You wanted to have sit downs with Roddy and um Yep, that's this here. And Greg. Oh, well, yeah, I don't want to do sit downs quite because we are doing that already. What if we do we do sit downs, but we do them together, highlighted and mixed in with video footage. Oh, okay. In I one singular angle. I like it. I like that. Excellent spot for, um, Josh Matthews. Sure. Uh, how long on that? I think it's going to go six because we, there's a lot of footage we'll be cutting. on top one further back just because I think that'll do better that is fine okay so footage from don't you want to maybe put, so I think maybe the miracle on top one can go even later yes sorry yeah I was meant to yeah cool uh triple a should come out yep uh, actually do you have your do you have the uh, alternative triple h Picture Shit, ready? I sh should. Uh oh. It's okay if you don't. I was trying to think. I thought I made one, but no, I did not. Okay. I'm okay with that one. Yeah. For this show, and then yeah. you can put in the one you wanted for the next show. I kind of know. Exactly I just want to look. I want for him. I, I kind of want to sell the idea that he's lost the belt and he's immediately like deflated. He's a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, he's gonna come out and he's gonna be like really sad. He's gonna be like, Drew, I really liked that belt. I liked the man that it made me. I liked the person that I thought I could be with it. There's a lot of memories in that belt. A lot of memories. And now I'm really sad. But then after I was sad for a while, I looked in the mirror and I got angry. So now I'm angry, Drew. So now I want my belt back, Drew. <laughs> Drew! Drew, give me my title back, Drew! <laughs> I feel like this is a, uh, oh no, he'll be off screen so he can't win. I was like, this is a Drew back there victory <laughs> over Triple H. <laughs> I'm in your skull. Rent free. Okay. Um, right. So we've got Doug ba Doug Basham versus Bobby Lashley. That's easily an angle that can start. That's easily a storyline that can start in an angle. Yep. But how? Doug Basham can complain that 
Kevin Nash has brought in all this new talent to try to run him off, but he's still here because he's too damn good. And then Bobby Lashley shows up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't. I, I think I, I know that's bare bones, but I, I do think it just works. Yeah. Like. Cool. Um, I guess Bobby Lashley is gonna show up and like run him off probably i don't i don't think doug is gonna stand and bang with bobby lashley i don't think doug, i don't think bobby lashley's gonna get violent though i think Bobby lashley's just gonna say yo you're a relic of the past that's base and yeah i am the future uh, do you want to fight do, do you want to fight um Lashley takes issue with Basham. Yep. Six, four. One. Six, I think, works. Twelve. Uh, start a new storyline and give Doug an unreciprocated victory and Lashley a victory over Doug. Yeah, let me just make sure nobody's in here. Nope, we're good. We can we can end the Kofi Kingston incubation chamber. Understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. What do I want to call us? A relic of the past? Sure. Uh, and what were you saying there? One more time for me. I would say unreciprocated regular for Doug. That's minor. Oh, I have to reset the store. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's fair. What did I expect? Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, regular Lashley over Doug. What are you doing? What, what, what are you doing? What are you doing with Ray and Psychosis this week? Uh, I was going to have Ray come out the ring. Basically say, like, you're so angry about it. You come fucking fight me. And then they brawl for a bit. I like it. All right, let's move the Lashley thing back. Let's have uh, women. Uh, let's. We're back to women. Okay. I think we're just gonna have Nat Hart. Nah, nah. We're not. Those angles are dead now. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, oh, oh, the angles are just done. Eh? Yeah, that's it. I, I mean, I think I'm happy. If you have a way of tying it all up, then I'm happy to. But I really don't. I think we, <laughs> I'm. I'm just sort of down to just drop it and move into my new idea. Nat Hart. Uh, will tell Michelle McCool that it's very clear she'll never learn anything under her because she's not approaching you with the right mindset. I'm sending you to Mount Everest, climb it, and come back to me when you've climbed it. Okay. Sure. You, you dig that? I don't know. I thought about it. I was like, she sends, I'm her, down. She sends her to like Siberia or something. <laughs> she's like, when you, when you have survived that, you will be ready. I think we have to pay it off, though. You gotta be prepared for at some point, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then I'm down. All right. Dramatic acting. Get Michael Hayes out there. Get him. Get him. Get him out there. Uh, <laughs> Michelle is sent to the mountains. <laughs> this does mean we have to find other women to wrestle on the show, in theory. We do. Uh, four minutes. Uh, yeah. Actually, I don't think we can have other women wrestle on this show, so I think we're just not having women wrestle on this show. Understandable. Um, make sure Michael Hayes is in charge here. Oh, good call. Because I, I don't trust anyone else with this angle. <laughs> Certainly not Sting! No. no. Uh, alright. So if the women aren't wrestling, then I guess... I guess Elijah Burke versus Evan Bourne. I was going to say, can we start that in a match somehow? Because that feels good. I think so. I think it's the easiest way to do it. The easiest way is probably just Elijah cheating to win. Yeah, I, I dig that, honestly. Okay. I, I was like trying to well, think yeah. super like big brain shit. And I was like, actually, that's good enough. Yeah, I love it. 
I think it's Elijah because we've seen Elijah as this like cocky young guy. I don't think we've seen that he's a little dastardly. And I like the idea that maybe he starts using brass knucks. Ooh. He doesn't. He doesn't even need brass knucks. He went fucking uh, ninety-eight and one as a boxer. <laughs> this dude's insane. He could fucking punch a hole through your head with his normal fist. And now he's gonna wrap that. What's wrong with this guy? This guy needs to go. Get him out of. Get out of here. That's what. Uh, Mick Foley says, I guess. I like it. I mean, and Michael's gonna be like, oh, so when it's brass, you've got a problem with it. But when it's a very unhygienic piece of cloth, you're fine with it. Yeah, I wasn't punching holes through people's heads with a sock. But you were giving them AIDS, my Mick. <laughs> I told you that in confidence. <laughs> This feels fairly long to me. Like, Probably, yeah. Oh, 13 was yep. was my instinct. Yeah. I take it. Cool. We should probably put a storyline on this. I guess Chavo Guerrero, Man Under Pressure. Sure, yeah, yeah. I mean, we could just start another one, but you know. You're right, but it wouldn't give it a boost. I'm happy to do both. You're right. Good call. I don't know what's gotten into us lately. We got all the storylines, man. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or I think it's good, bad. Honestly. Okay. Um, what the hell we call in this, man? Elijah versus Evan. Life in the fast lane. Sure. Oh no, we now have to do S enemy fast lane. We do. No. <laughs> no. Uh okay, yeah, well, that's good. They um on SmackDown last night, Robert, they uh, they played a teaser for the Motor City Machine Guns. Um, really? Yeah, and uh, there were wow. people people reacting to it who were like, "This is either the Motor City Machine Guns or it's a fast lane ad." And I was just like, <laughs> "I was just like, it doesn't tell you a location, a date. It just shows two guys, a bunch of cars, police." I'm like, "Why the fuck <laughs> would you think this was an event?" Oh, they're clearly holding it in Detroit. <laughs> What event? Oh, fast lane. Yeah, fair. Fast lane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fast lane. It's all fair. there, Tucker. Uh, I would put this before the Miracle on Tom promo, and then that's a good spot for the Miracle on Tom promo, probably. Yep, perfect. Uh, Kevin Nash goes backstage, or he is backstage, and he flicks on a light switch, uh, and, and the lights don't come on, and he narrows his eyes, <laughs> and that is the end of the promo. <laughs> So I would call that dramatic acting. <laughs> One minute. Yep. I, I'd go dramatic acting on that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. We're not really I, developing I his that. character. I yeah. thought we were. That's a lot of depth. For this <laughs> I just like the idea of him. Like we zoom in on his eyes yep. and they just narrow. <laughs> and he's like, oh, no. <laughs> I thought this was over. <laughs> It's not. Um, okay. Maybe it's just made of end time, you know? Uh, oh, I gotta do Ray and Psychosis. Oh, fuck, you're right. We're gonna need to find some time. But go ahead. Do it now. Actually, this my main... No, no, that could go now. Go this ahead. Is, this is six, almost certainly. Um, yep. Ray promoing the other guy fighting. Or do you do it in two parts, maybe? I could. I could. Ray, his initial promo could be about four. Um, Put Psychosis off screen in it. Good call. Good call. You don't have to speed through this, by the way. I feel like I said we were pressed for time, and I meant in the game, and you sped up in real life. <laughs> I was like, you're not still going to give us any time. <laughs> uh, have I? I? I literally didn't notice that I'm moving any faster. You, you, so. Well, your book, it, it just felt a little frantic there. <laughs> oh, I see. It's probably because I was just like, let's get this fucking angle out there. Come on. Um... I thought I was going to take it away from you. Every every minute we wait is every minute I could be like, hey, can we just do this next week? We should, we should fire psychosis, actually. Um, I would never. I love psychosis. How long on the brawl? Three? Four? Three sounds... I mean, I, I don't mind yeah. either, though. I, look, it could be ten. I love brawling. You know me. That's true. That's true. All right, yeah, let's go forward. They'll do, like, some crazy shit or something. 
Um, Bucha Lucha! Lucha Brawl, that's what I'll call it. It's the name of my upcoming event, Lucha Brawl. Lucha Brawl? SNME Lucha Brawl? SNME Lucha Brawl. SNME Lucha Brawl 2, and then uh, SNME Lucha Brawl Forever. Okay, how long is this main in theory? Good question. It's either a 10 minute TV sprint or it's like a 15 to 20 minute. I was going to say 12, so I'm probably more on the sprint side. Spectacular. Uh, I'm okay with 12. I kind of dig that. All right. It's the here's worst the of choice. both worlds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. All right. Here's I'm going to be choice. honest. I have, I have a lean, but I'm not going to say it until I've heard some of your thoughts. I don't want to influence. Okay. Miracle on Taunt is the better big show match. So. Well, we I don't I don't think we have a partner for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haha. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. There was venom. Venom because, in there. It's because I real at the moment I said it, I was like, ah fuck, I said big show again. <laughs> 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 yeah, sorry. I, I, go, go on. Um, these guys have way better opponents for TVs here. Like okay, so here I'm gonna I'm gonna counter that because I disagree. I think every opponent they could have could just fight the Miracle on Tongue. Let me see. Let me see the list that I put together there very briefly. I will before you read it as well. Let me just give some, you some logic. All right, I will always maintain that baby faces can fight anyone. The only problems you're ever going to have is heel versus heel. Yeah. Now, that's not to say heel versus heel is always bad, but baby face versus baby face is always fine. Yes, you have to do work for heel versus heel. Um, mm -hmm. and all so, the, all in, the the interesting... in theory, Miracle on Taunt just have more opponents then, right? Because they have all of the opponents that Millennium could have, but also have others but also have deuce and domino um yeah no actually unironically which is fun maybe not that fun and in I fact think, i would maybe argue millennium versus deuce and domino could be more fun because well my thing right was i was looking at millennium and stuff like that and i was thinking about how they matched up with all these other groups and it's like this the style differences between each team are interesting but i think miracle on Tunt also keeps that with every single combination I have thought of there, and they even gain one with the Deuce and Domino thing that just didn't exist for Millennium. Because, um, like, you get, like... I, I would think of the Miracle Anton as, like, a grappler kind of team. Evans and Kid are more on that... More on the flying side, do some grappling stuff for there sure. as well. They're a little bit of both. Um, the kind of cruiserweight contingent group that I just threw in there is, like, any combo of, like, those guys would be, like, flying kind of people. Seek and Destroy eventually It's your big power team. Um, Jesse and Festus bring the character stuff and maybe a little bit of brawling. Deuce and Domino is a straight up brawling team. Um, but also with that more like Southern heel tag team, isolate and work yes, over heat segments yes. kind yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like your, yeah, like your old school kind of brawler. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I guess it's Miracle on Taunt then, man. Well, that was my lead. Um, I think my one argument inside of Millennium is that it's a really fun team. Yep. Um, the run would be nice. It, it would be fun. Uh, and I don't know if they survive long enough to be in the consideration for after SummerSlam. I did, I did wonder about putting it on Evans and Kid here, letting them work a couple months, drop it back to do the SummerSlam match. I'm not against that. I but I would maybe be... want some effort put in to making the time without the belts be interesting for Emmy. And I don't know if I'm prepared to do that work, but I'd love to see it. Well, Taz is coming back soon. He is, but he's sort of, I don't know if I said this explicitly, but he's sort of doing something else. And that's kind of... Because he's... Kind of where I think Go ahead. the content might be there. Okay. Yeah, Taz, I can see that. Taz has done this shit before to Renee, and it did bring him yep. Santino. But 
I don't know. Like, I keep... Renee has been with Taz since fucking 2005. Like... I don't think that's true. I think it's 2006. It's just but it okay. doesn't undermine you because I think Renee was... Oh, you're wasn't right. Renee yes. with Paul Heyman he was, for a bit? He was um, he was La Resistance guy in 04. 05 was the start of the Renee Sebastian Dupree character with, I think, Paul. You're right. And then 06, yes, was the flip to Taz. Um, yeah. At the end of 06, right? Because he, he, was, he was involved in the ECW invasion stuff. Um... Like, it was earlier on in 06, though, because he was already kind of in the plans, like, for the ECW thing. Like, like. But that was not because he was with Pat. Paul. Oh, you're right, I think. And then we spun out from the Taz thing out of that. You're right. After, at the end of 06, he yeah. Taz. It was, yeah, now I remember. It was definitely the end of 06, because the very start of 07 is the Renee Lashley stuff, where Taz, like, gets Renee into trouble. Right, and he's not entirely yes. sure that he's the right, they're the right fit. Yep. So you're right. They've been together a while. Not like a huge, you know, it's not no, like not, five not like years or anything. Yeah. No. Cause, but cause my it's still thing, like almost two years. My thing is like, I feel like Renee, at least to me, and, and I've had this, this has been like a long time for this character. Um, like Renee, I, I don't know how to say this because it doesn't make much sense for him to feel this way, but I think he does. Like, Renee feels like time's a ticking, mm -hmm. and it has been. Like he's he's been mad at Taz about this before, where he feels like there's like limited um, upward movement and stuff like that. Um, I think that uh, I think the idea is that he peaked early. Maybe yeah. is the it yeah. kind of he thought and, and that th he thought that the the trajectory was going to continue. And he's plateaued. And I kind of think also, like, the... Maybe even not so much any actual feelings towards it, but the perception that he's peaked. Like, the, the people who are saying yep. that to him um, get to him. He hears every day from his friends and family, Oh, I thought you'd be world champion by now. Yeah, what did you start in that company? You were, like, 20? What are you now? You're, like, 24? Come on, kid. Jesus. Like, you're, you're still young and all, but you were, like, the youngest champion ever. Yeah. I thought you were going to be, like, Figure a megastar. Figure it out, yeah. It's that we, sort of wasted potential feeling in Renee that he, maybe he's made some a couple of key wrong decisions. Like like in reality, these things just don't happen perfectly, right? But in Renee's mind, it's like no, I should have been world champions. Clearly, somewhere along the line, yes, I've made a mistake. And it's like, what are my mistakes? Like what what am I what am I thinking? Or you know what I mean? Like what am I? Um, yeah, I guess, what am I thinking? And it's like, well, my thinking is influenced by the people that I've had managing my career the whole time. And where did, where did the plateau Taz. really happen? And it was when I came to SmackDown, which was Taz's decision. Why did you do this to me? Which is what Renee said to Taz initially about coming Why did you bring me here? Did he shouted here? at that the commentary it. desk. Yes. Yeah. Why did you bring me here? Okay, I, I mean that there's some there's some cool shit in there. And then by so, by August or so time, we'll have solved some of those issues, and the unit will be cohesive again. So my instinct in talking this through, though, is that maybe these issues cannot be solved. I hear that. I do. I, I agree that they should eventually they should win the belts back and have the SummerSlam match. I think that's cool. But I I, I do wonder whether there's enough juice in this to propel a push. Renee, uh, I do like the idea that Renee coalesces and goes back to the team. They win the belts, they'll lose them at some point, and then that's when Renee will make his move. It's very Eddie Guerrero, Chris Benoit. <laughs> God, did we do that for that? They they were arguing for ages, got back together to win the belts at Mania, and then then decided to leave the team there. Hmm. Okay. I don't think so much Renee. This would be different. I yeah. don't think Renee's deciding to leave the team there. I think no. he's deciding and to leave I, Santino face down in the ring. I always felt from the very start that the money was in the feud. I, yeah. I had cooled on that about halfway through the run when I was like, this team's cool. And I still think the team is cool, but I think you've got you've put together some interesting dynamics that I think that uh, we don't have to do it, but at least we could pull the trigger on that in the summer. So I think we've done this, this good process, lads. Let's let's put the Flippy Boys over. Hell yeah. Yeah. Flippy Boys forever. 
Uh, if you're booking, you forgot to put me back into the correct screen. <laughs> oh, apologies. I forgot that was... No worries. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. That looks... Maybe... Uh, maybe they should... The Flippy Boy should win because Roddy Strong did something. That seems reasonable to me. I dig it. I dig it. Yeah. Uh, some interference finish. Uh... Make sure Santino takes this pin too, I think, is uh, is relevant. Sure, yep. Building that Roderick Strong Santino feud for down the line. I mean kinda based. It would be ridiculously based. <laughs> uh I'm just thinking of uh obviously what Danielson did with him and then Roddy could do that. Roddy could do that too. Mm. Okay, four minutes. Chavo's party can be two minutes shorter, for sure. Uh, yep. God, I hate that that's not a slider, actually. I've I've never... It's really I've, weird. I've not had that thought while playing this game until right there with that screen. I've heard you say it before, but yeah, no, that's the first time I've been like, huh, yeah, weird. We, we can cut one minute off of the Kofi squash, and then since you were talking about three minutes or four minutes on the brawl, how do you feel about taking a minute off the brawl? Yep, I'm game for that. And then, then we're good wrestling there we go hell yeah i like it this is a good show i agree what's going on here i don't think it's gonna do great in game unless probably the boys not. kill it in the main but Pro probably not but i like it so who cares mm -hmm. or if chavo somehow kills it in this open but i'm feeling somewhere in the greens for this open probably i think if we're gonna get like a big angle it's gonna be either the triple h thing triple or it's h gonna be the yeah. sean idol thing that i think might the sean like, idol thing popping off would pop be off. amazing <laughs> i think it might low key uh all right smackdown intro yep yeah understandable except uh, what exactly what i was expecting really West yeah stomp for the boys <laughs> The crowd are simmering down. No, they're like, all right, we've had our fun now. It's SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> now they're just simmering. <laughs> um, yep, these guys are ready to go. I guess that doesn't advance any angles there, right? That's weird. Oh, does the main even advance anything? Maybe we should put Chavo I Guerrero Man under pressure yeah, onto you're it. You're right. I just may yeah. not have any kind of thing to it. It doesn't. But, uh, I have a feeling that we'll get to Mania 25 and somehow the Kofi Kingston Incubation Chamber will still be an we'll active storyline. <laughs> Here, let me do this then for you. No! <laughs> Acceptable. Okay. Keep it rolling. Yep. Why is he at a volcano? This is not a place for a shark to be. Did you did you hear what I said where I was like, oh, he was on a plane last week, he went to a volcano. I love it. Yeah. Do you, are you going to explain why he is at a volcano next week, or or yeah, he not? Was, he's just he went to see a volcano. He had to comp con contemplate life. You got to go to a volcano sometimes, dog. Volcano is like one of the more primal things if that you, you can see. If you want my actual explanation, uh, I did. Why am I a shark out of water? And I was like, then why is the why is the sea so salty? And then I was like, I should do air and fire angles. <laughs> so I see. So he he's the avatar. The, the truth is, is that. All four elements, anywhere you could be on Earth, Shark feels out of place. I see. Wait, but wasn't he out of water? Yeah. So wouldn't he feel in place no, if he was so in salty. the water? Oh yeah, he you did say that. He himself is so salty. The what about fresh water? What, what about shark, fresh water? Shark doesn't know about He's a shark. He doesn't know the difference. He just thinks it's all water. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Hey, you were right. It's actually underperformed for what I thought it might do. I'm not going to oh, lie. I, this overperformed for what I thought it was going to do. I thought this would be like a 90 plus. This I'm is joking. This is the this is the storyline that's going to get the idol Stevens over. This is it. This is the this is the one. Yep. Yep. Wow, 48 on his debut. That's good. Kofi Kingston kicks this ginger man in the head. Oh, no. Tucker. Oh, no, it's not kicking him in the head. It's doing the other thing. Gotta fix that. I did see it, though, over there. Yeah. Uh, what are they thinking? Uh, uh, you just never escape unclear after you get unclear? It's so fucking funny. 
I guess so. That seems like a bug. This is next week. Yes, book it in. I was shocked I remembered that. I was thinking when I was at AFK, because uh, I was listening to you, and I was like, I'm sure we have a Cruiserweight title match to book next week, and eventually I remembered it was Greg. But yeah, I am also impressed with you remembering it. It's like you know it was good. Hey! So Thanks, I Try. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Go. Go away. Get out of here. Leave, leave my company. I'm Michelle McCool. Pack, we see a, a, like a montage of her packing up her bags at the dojo and glancing off at the mountain in the distance. There you go. And then the credits roll. Yep. This was good. Yes, that's pretty good. I guess this nice. was really good. good I guess we should just book that in for SNME. Yeah, Lashley. Um, yeah. Yep, yeah, I'm down. Yeah. And we can just have them continue to talk and wrestle in tag team matches between now and then. I love it. Oh, dude, we did booking Kennedy. Cena. Oh, yeah, you're right. Good call. Which at this point kind of looks like the main event. Oh, it's kind of, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. For big guess me, it's a Madison Square Garden show. But it is. Nice. Ric Flair was a real star here. This didn't do very well. No, it didn't. <laughs> this did. Nice. 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 Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'll take it. Acceptable. We have new WWE Tag Team Champions. It's the, well... Millennium have been champions before. <laughs> There's SmackDown. Tyson Kidd was slightly overused. Oh, yeah, they can cry about that. They will on the forums. Me and my friend Mark are going to get on the forums. Still the most goaded line ever, by the way. So fucking insane. Yeah. My I Mark are gonna hop on Twitter and complain. Cancel WWE Network. <laughs> I wonder Fucking what Triple H's man. legacy is gonna be like in ten years' time. <sighs> they will completely forget about anything he did before he got the book. Ooh, I don't that's, know. That's what I wanted to see. That's the person I wanted to hear it from. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. He would, have been, he would have been the right one, clearly, buddy. I'm just saying. Well, for the booking team? No, for... Um, he, he would have been the right one to steal all of uh, Steamboat's moves. Oh, oh, yeah! That was your pitch. I remember now. Yeah, I was like, I just want to do uh, Ricky Steamboat low-key. I was like, can we make two games in our Ricky Steamboat? Have a lot of hard bags? I was like, I guess Kofi is Kofi. He doesn't need to wrestle yeah. like anybody else. Um... I should add. Oh, I just wonder, like, could, with all of the absolute heinous shit that's gone on in that company lately, yeah. I wonder how much Triple H is going to end up associated with that. It's a good question. I think, I believe, like, the, um, in theory, like, the hammer, like, the hammer over his head is still there. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I don't think it's, it's not been fully exonerated of anything yet. I just don't think we yep. know who, how much who knows and again it constantly does have to come back to like how do you not know like what do you yeah. mean you guys had no clue are you that inept genuinely or you know although on the other hand like we underestimate sometimes you know how much obfuscation sometimes takes place in an instrument of that size um yep that's true and how much like you know people can talk about how they would investigate and they would take things seriously all they want. But I don't think you know until you're in that situation exactly how much you're willing to like overlook subconsciously and and, and things like that. So I, yep. I don't know. That's but true. that's why I find it interesting because I think in 10 years time, Triple H, like both from a backstage perspective and also from the work he's done with the product and also with the business, I think it'll be interesting to see how he's 
when the Triple H Netflix documentary comes out in 10 years' time, it'll be interesting to see like what, what kind of legacy that ends up looking like. The only interviews they can get are like Sean and his wife. <laughs> his ex-wife by that point, surely. <laughs> his ex-wife by now, dude. Come on. <laughs> Are they? Is that a rumor? I didn't hear that. I was oh, just kind of joking. At least for like two years and stuff like that, it, it's like been heavily speculated they're separated. And I won't lie, I look at it and I'm just like, yeah, they definitely just are. Like they do. I just I, I buy it entirely. Like I do. I have any concrete proof of that? No, but they don't really do anything anymore <laughs> as a <laughs> as a duo. They're never anywhere together. The only time they've been together on screen, I believe, in like the past two years was for the Hall of Fame thing, which would be when you would do that type of thing to keep up appearances. So. That makes sense. All right. Should we wrap, us, should we wrap this up? We should. I have to jump over here and close this. And pause this. Yeah, we did pretty good. Eh? Like, a, like a minute out from, or well, like six minutes out from the end of the two hours oh yeah, yeah yeah i think we had a few delays today as well which uh so it is a little longer than i think we could have been which is all my fault um i was about so, to end the yeah. call and think that that ended the stream i've like, done that before I'd come, I'd, come back, I'd come back like an hour later and be like oh shit sorry everybody <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't drop any frames which is good to see we didn't at all zero which is crazy uh, there was a bit um, spooky yeah initially when we booted up the stream um my drop frame rate was like 60% or something. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Help. Um, but no, it all worked itself out, hopefully. And um, hopefully you could hear everything during the video. And that music yep. I played was royalty free. It didn't fuck us over. Um, Thanks to Tucker for uh, doing the streaming tonight to help me out. And I'll, I'll be back to it tomorrow. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, we will catch you guys uh, tomorrow for another week of fun times here the world wrestling entertainment am i right it's um, just the wwe tucker oh yeah you're right we don't even it stands for nothing actually it stands for absolutely nothing no nothing did you what sorry a uh, little minor okay. tangent before okay. we finish yeah, yeah. Did, I, I, i'm a guy these days look i'm a little bit of an old man now and i everything that i watch i watch with subtitles that might you might not be at the stage of your life where you do that yet but for me i watch ev everything i watch i watch with subtitles now um, and one funny thing that I watched, I, I noticed during the McMahon documentary is that they would say World Wrestling Federation, but the yes. subtitles would always be World Wrestling Entertainment. <laughs> there were also a couple times where it was in it was in cl the clips that they would use, not the interviews themselves, but anytime somebody would say Federation, it would they would bleep it, like it would just be blank. Oh, in the, on the doc? That, yeah, I remember that at least at least oh. once somebody said World Wrestling Federation, just my World Wrestling. And then that was it. I think that might not have been in the UK version. I don't remember that. Okay, well, there wouldn't be a different version, so I'm just misremembering. So. There are definitely different versions of shows on Netflix for regions. I doubt they're making a separate version of the Vince McMahon doc that they didn't even really want to put out to begin with because of all the shit that happened, but they found a way to put it out and make it not terrible. Yeah, you might be right. I just know for a fact that there are some shows that have had certain scenes changed in the regional versions. Um, yeah, so I, I, so I, I know that I know that happens on Netflix. Now, you, your your logic for why they wouldn't want to make one for this is 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 sound. So yeah, but the only thing I, I also might be misremembering. The only thing I could think of there for a second was um, I think they they ask him about changing the name at one point, right? And he's just like. Yeah, I don't know, dog. That's what that's what happens. Like they had the name. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, they were right. We had to change our name. Oh, what with the with the yeah. World Wildlife Fund yeah, stuff? I swear he was just like, uh. yeah, they had the name, so we had to switch. <laughs> Did it suck? Yeah, a little bit, but like whatever. <laughs> it's just like, all right, fair. Pretty interesting. Inter I mean, that's a whole different conversation, and you know that happened a long, long time ago. But I don't know how reasonable I think that was. I don't know. I mean, it's it's an abbreviation and it's the exact same one, but it is a completely different industry. It is, but I think it had something to do with, um, I believe if I'm not wrong, the actual thing itself was about um, website domains in the UK, and that spiraled out into, should you be using this name at all? And then mm. I think, I think, did they settle? 
or was was it forced on them? I swear they settled and just was like, I think they settled. Yeah. Yeah. I think they were just like, yeah, we'll change the name then. That's fine. Um, I mean, in the long term, it was probably the right call, but it it must have been a massive pain in the ass. And it must continue to be a a minor pain in the ass. I was going to say it was, it was actually nice to hear, um, to hear Vince say, yeah, that, that sucked. Um, to have to like switch the name, like we did it, whatever, it was fine, but that that sucked at the time because I don't know, it didn't mm. suck. It, I would love to, I would love to still call this the WF. It's a better, the World Wrestling Federation is just such a better name. I, Makes sense, yeah. I it also probably to me is rejecting the fucking we're we're entertainment, we're, we're making movies, um, because that shit makes me throw up in my mouth. Ideologically, I get that, but it was it was that that was the principle long before the name change. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no, you're right. It, yeah, they, they moved it to more accurately reflect the company. Um, yeah. To be fair, this is a better name, I guess, for what they are. To be, yeah, that's fair. All right, Tucker, I'll stop holding you hostage. You I stop will. holding me hostage. <laughs> I will hold you hostage for one last second. Okay. You'll, you'll see it in a mini little preview there, but there you go. Oh shit! There it is. Lovely. Threw it on. Tried to set it kind of like these ones. I think I got the. I think I got the angle of the. Yeah, I think I got the angle great. of the gradient a little off because I just went like, okay, 50%, that'll work. That'd be like the corner. But now it seems to be more like probably 75 or something. But that's not important. Um, hey, yeah, I like, I, yeah, yeah, I'm impressed. We're locked in for SummerSlam Moscow 2008. Nice. Um, yeah, so let's get out of here. Uh, for Putty, for myself, for um, the new WWE Tag Team Champions, I'll throw them on screen while I do that. Hell yeah. Whoa! Um, yeah, we'll see you guys, uh, well, I guess tomorrow, if you're watching live. If you're not, uh, we'll see you in, like, two seconds when auto plays the next video. Bye.